Ik was me. Hoi. I don't like using Zoom because everyone can see how messy the room is behind me. Google Meet hides all that. Hey folks, per usual, we'll just give uh, one or two more minutes for people to show up and then we can talk about on-demand cluster discovery work. All right, so shall we start this or do you still wait? I mean, if you want to chat, feel free. Were, were you the one who added that? Sorry? I'm not sure if you are waiting for anyone else to show up. Uh, I don't think anyone in particular uh, mapped out this week, so I think I think we can just start if you want. Sure. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to start uh, to talk about the state of the on-demand cluster discovery work that I have been doing. Uh, so the main thing that I wanted to talk about that this work was part of my contract work uh, for Netflix, by Danes, and. I basically run out of time. And since you were required recently by Microsoft that probably I won't be able to do any more contractual work. Uh, so I was like wondering what we, what we could do with this situation where I can continue working because for Microsoft it's probably they, they won't allow the contractual work. We are like done with this kind of uh, profession. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if someone could take over this work or not. Uh, what I can also add is um, that, so basically there are like three parts, I would say, uh, for this work. Uh, one was the changes in the XDF protocol, which are like now ongoing with uh, Mark doing the changes in the documentation. I have some code. Uh, that code went through some reviews already, so probably that it would be possible that this code is like in mergeable state like really soon. So I, I don't think there there would be a lot of work to yet to be done on, on this part on the XDS protocol. Uh, the second part was to add the uh, on demand cluster functionality, discovery functionality to the cluster manager itself. So there's also a pull request for that. Most of the work is done. Uh, the, the, that code already went through a lot of review. So I hope that there wouldn't be a lot of work left too. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of blocked on the XDS protocol changes. Uh, and the last part was to expose this uh, functionality. So I have a branch with that changes too. But there wasn't any consensus how this functionality should be exposed because there were voices that it should be a part of some on demand uh, extension. And I also heard that some other maintainers wanted this functionality to be, let's say, built in or I don't know, belong to core. I'm not sure yet. So I, I, I think there's a lot more work on this part, on actually exposing this because. We need to have some consensus first. But the code is there. Uh, I think it's working. Like James did some testing, and uh, I think uh, it was it was mostly working. Uh, so what I can add is maybe I could uh, like keep 
pushing all those first two pull requests that I have. So the XDS protocol changes and on the uh, functionality in the cluster manager, but I'm sure that I won't have enough time to actually do the uh, exposing the functionality because there is probably still some design needed, uh, probably more talking to maintainers until we get some, until we agree on the solution that, that can be implemented. Yeah. So, so one thing I'd say is like this, like the, the ask for on the Mancon CDS has come up my, many times and I'm sure it will come up again in the future. So yeah. if you can take this to the point where you can park the existing work and you can tick a line like those initial milestones and clearly articulate what's, what's, what's missing, I'm pretty sure that this is going to actually be picked up by somebody at some point. I don't know if we, you know, we have my team has, has bandwidth for that right now, but I, I certainly think that this is something that, um, would, would be of interest to the general community. And I think the most important thing is going to be targeting it in a state where people know what the next action or thing is to do. And it, they don't have to like rebuild all the state that you've built up yourself from scratch and redesign the thing from scratch and this kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask if you're willing yeah. to, it would be really awesome if you could update kind of the state, like if you're going to land the two that are in flight, that's fantastic if you're willing to push those through. And then if you could just comment on the issue, the open issue saying like, okay, this part's landed, this part's landed, you know, here's a theoretical draft of what's next, but this is officially not being worked on. Hey, if you want to sponsor me to do the rest, feel free. Like you can, you can put in a plug there. Um, but if we make it both clear that no one's working on it right now and kind of, as Harvey says, point to what there is left, that would be really, really helpful. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to ask about the possible, like, situ um, let's say, possible solutions, because I don't know. Maybe, maybe my company will make some exception and allow me to work a bit more on this. I don't know. I'm just a lowly cold monkey. I'm not another. I can, I can say. I can tell. Can I ask a question, maybe for uh, maybe James as well? Is like this work was was probably useful or inspired by work at the Netflix side of the, the things. Would Netflix continue to work on this or sponsor this work? Yeah, I can add some context there. So um, I, I wanted to continue to fund this work with Chris Amir, uh, and I offered to extend the contract uh, a couple of months back. Um, the, the Microsoft acquisition has been a, a sort of wrench in the works there because obviously Microsoft have got their own kind of um, desires for what the they're going to have the the team do there and so um i was unwilling to to fund it uh we would really like this uh functionality you know one of the reasons we decided to fund it is because we, i can see this being a great solution for us and onboarding people to service mesh with very low friction um we don't have a ton of uh kind of expertise or familiarity with the envoy code base itself and we are stretched incredibly thin and, and so like i would I want to take this on, but I, I, I'm unsure if I can take it on uh, and kind of give it the momentum it needs. Um, it depends a little bit on what we think's left. So, you know, Chris and me mentioned the three parts. There's the, the wildcard XTS changes, there's the uh, cluster manager changes, and there's the, the kind of extension change. Like if the first two were landed, then the extension as is, is very thin and like an extension and so people carrying that out of trees um you know we're still in a much better spot than we were say you know, prior to the, the first three changes or two changes that are outstanding and one that's already merged um but i don't have a great feel right now like just how close we are like there's sort of minor uh minus maybe the wrong word but uh there are like uh, still like niggling issues cropping up in the sort of uh, behavior of the wildcard changes. And uh, I've been trying to get my head around those over the last few days and kind of, but I, I don't have the expertise to know like, are we a long way off here or are we just like a few small changes off? Uh, and that makes it difficult for me to know whether I could commit to pushing it forward myself. It makes sense. I mean, you know, one op other option might be as well as just appealing to the general community is, I do know like if you reach out to CNCF and like we can come out with Chris A there, like they do have some opportunities and we've used these in uh, tactically in the past to you know fund certain contractors who are sort of you know working on things which are important, to, um, which don't have to be necessarily 
heavy duty commitments that you know that, that you have to take on in terms of like you know hiring a new kind of director this kind of thing right uh that, that's interesting i hadn't thought of uh that option via the cncf i could reach out to chris um and uh see if you can and give me some pointers there i, I was actually doing some some similar research yesterday into attend other options but i didn't i didn't un identify the cncf as a, a potential route there De definitely like if there's someone who can take the work on i'm i can fund it like it's it's uh the way netflix is set up is it's much easier for me to to pay someone some money than it is for me to actually squeeze the work in which is a good thing and a bad thing in in different ways and it looks like that's it for the agenda do other people have things i want to chat about while we're here yeah i have a question Shashimir, a question to you uh, in your opinion how what would be an effort to finish it is it a weeks or or is it a month I'm talking to development and, this, uh, and to sta stabilize the code. Uh, to make it stable, I guess we need to have a platform to test it. Uh, so, so one thing is doing integration testing with just the one, two clients and completely different thing, testing with, with thousands of, of streams. So I, I've actually been testing it. Uh, I haven't checked my, my test harness this morning, but uh, it's been under load uh, at Netflix. Um, pushing like fetching clusters on demand, expiring them with the TTL, driving traffic from multiple connections with multiple workers, trying to like flush out any concurrency issues. Uh, it's, um, it hasn't crashed at all. Mm -hmm. I have found like a couple of quirky behaviors, which I am unsure, uh, one of which I'm unsure is whether it's specific to this work or whether it's um, relates to uh, pausing requests in general, but I noticed there are, Access log entries get doubled when uh, a request gets suspended and then the on-demand request happens and then the request gets resumed and then it gets locked again. Mm -hmm. So you get two access log entries, one with a status code of zero and then the other one that is the real uh, result. Um, I looked through the PR and I didn't, I didn't see anything relating to that uh, in the code and I hadn't had a chance to dig deeper and see whether that was a quirk that was specific to kind of pausing and resuming requests in general. but. Um, Overall, functionality-wise, uh, it seems pretty robust to me. Um, so, really, I think it's more it, not to say there isn't additional testing uh, that could be done, and you know there always is. But uh, I think the I suspect the big outstanding work is the getting alignment around the protocol uh, wildcard variants uh, and and getting that through. I see. But I, I, I'm I don't have the expertise to be able to quantify that myself. Maybe uh, Harvey or Mark have a better feel for. It. But how close they think we are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. about the amount. Go so ahead. About the amount of work left for, sorry, just, just wanted to say one thing about the amount of work left. So for the XDS protocol changes, I think that we were mostly on the same page with Mark. Uh, so I don't think there's a lot of work to do. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah, just, just, I think that Mark changes the specification that need to get merged because they were already reviewed. Uh, my code needs to get a review. Already got one, so I updated it. Uh, I don't know, maybe some follow-up review will still raise. I will still get some more issues during the review, I don't know. But mm -hmm. it already went through the review, so and these, these weren't like fundamental issues, I think. So there shouldn't be a lot of work. Also, as I said, the second part of the functionality also got a, a lot of reviews. So this most of the kinks should be ironed out by now. So I believe if, if I had, let's say, if I had like three weeks more of work and I, I, I would be able to get like reviews on time, which is like tricky because I'm in completely different time zone. I'm in Europe, so I really need to wait a day or two. Uh, because right. time differences, then yeah, this, this, I, I believe this would land in, in main branch. But I can say that about exposing the functionality in the end as a part of extension or whatever, because there is no consensus. So I, I think we would need to, well, have the maintainers agree on the solution first. But yeah, 
this can be limited to the expansion. So as change that probably just could be kept out of three in some uh, in some case. James, and I have a question for you. Is it a part of a service mesh you, you're building at network uh, at Netflix? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, we uh, we're doing um, ingress through our service mesh right now for a bunch of uh, our kind of uh, what we call the streaming path. You know, what most people know is the kind of uh, movie service. Um, we're not doing we're doing uh, egress for a very specific limited case. Our challenge about adopting people in is that we don't have a uh, we don't have a single source of truth of who needs to talk to who, and so pre-configuring the Envoy data plane instance with the necessary clusters is a challenge for us, and on demand uh, makes that much easier because we can we can learn this stuff on the fly and build our source of truth by uh, you know through that learning. The, there's another approach. Um, which some people on the team uh, favor, which takes us in a different direction. But this this is definitely my preferred approach, and I think it's I think it's a good feature for onboard in general. And I expect other people kind of trying to onboard service mesh users might benefit from it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, so I don't want to really volunteer here, but I think that what we discussed actually, Shimmer, if you can summarize where you are and kind of conclude, and I I'm sure someone will pick it up maybe would be me, but uh, there's a lot of open issues which somehow has been left in a half-baked state and I see that they picked up other people, so. All right, yeah, thanks for the update, thank you. No problem. Uh, yeah, I probably can do some kind of summary as a document, so it won't be lost in any way. That'd be appreciated. Cool. Oh yeah, so that's it from me. Thanks for listening. Uh, so again, we are through agenda. Do you folks have anything else they want to chat about while we're here? Going once, going twice. See you folks next meeting. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.